defended your 800 free title and a new Welsh record as well. It was a really fantastic swim, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm really surprised with how that went. Um, I knew it was going to be a tough race. I was obviously I'm feeling a bit sore from training, but um, to come away with the best time is really big shock. But I think when you're doing a lot of metres in the pool, you're working hard. It's not surprising when the times come because you're just in such really good shape. Just how difficult was it swimming out on your own because you were gradually pulling further and further away and it just must have been a case of how fast can I go? Yeah, I think it's it's always difficult when you're swimming by yourself. You want someone to push you, but um, obviously at Commonwealth there's a lot of girls that are going to be pushing for fast time, so I just need to be ready for that race um, and get more racing experience going into Commonwealth Games. You're now top of the world rankings and you were top of the Commonwealth rankings last year for 800 free. Do you see it as your big shot at Commonwealth goal? Um, I'm just making sure that I'm doing everything I can, so in July when I get on those blocks I've done everything and I know I'm in the best shape. I think coming into this, I was feeling a bit tired and obviously didn't put too much pressure on myself racing that fast, but to come away with that time, I'm really over the moon and my coach has got me a big swim down planned, I think, after that. And have you set yourself a target for uh, lowering the time later this season? Yeah, I think that's always the aim, is to go faster. Obviously, last year, going at 818 was was obviously happy with that, but I want to be pushing on to with the top of the world and obviously 813 won World Championships last year. So, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for, is just to go faster and faster. Well done.